In this video, I'm going to be going over the six most common sizes of pipe that you're going to need to rough the plumbing in your house. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel is all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. So the six common sizes of pipe are, we got the half inch pressure line, and you can use PEX or CPVC. So that's what you're going to need that, and it goes right up to the fixtures of each of your plumbing fixtures. And if you look here, we got the next size up, which is the three quarter inch water line. And you can use either PEX or CBVC for this as well. And this is going to be the trunk that's going to be feeding all of the half inch pipe that's going to be going up to your fixture. So they're going to tee off the trunk and go right up to each fixture. And then when it comes to drain lines, the smallest rough end size that you're going to be using is this inch and a half PVC pipe. This is just regular white PVC pipe. And there's also the other kind of pipe that you can get, the black ABS pipe, but I always use the white PVC pipe. And um, the next size up from that is we got the two inch PVC pipe, then we got our three inch, and then we got our four inch. So let's go over to the whiteboard and I'm going to break down when you use each one of these pipes. Let's get started. Okay, so what I went ahead and did is I put all the fixtures over here. So your toilet, shower, etc. And then this is going to be the drain line size and this is going to be what size water line that has ran to each one of those fixtures. So I'm going to use my red marker for the drain lines. So the toilet's gonna to require the biggest drain line and it's gonna be the same size drain line that's gonna run out of your house. And that's going to be three inch PVC. So that was that second to last biggest size. So it was not that big four inch, it's the next size down. So next we got our shower. Now when I say a shower, I mean just a regular if it's a shower base that you made, or if it's a uh, regular fiberglass shower base that's pre-made, they all require a two inch PVC pipe. So um, that's just standard for almost every shower. So go ahead and pick you up some two inch PVC pipe if you're going to be doing a shower. Now here's the interesting part, at least I've always found this interesting, is a shower tub combo next down from the two inch and it goes to a inch and a half pipe, believe it or not. So, and it's going to be PVC. And I always found that very interesting because your shower is two inch, but if it's a shower tub combo, it's an inch and a half, which you still get the uh, kit that actually is a little smaller than that for it actually goes in an inch and a half, but that's for another video. But when you rough in your plumbing, it's going to be an inch and a half. Bathroom sink, that's gonna be inch and a half. PVC. Kitchen sink. So I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time really explaining this, but it's the same thing, inch and a half. PVC. Um, and now we're gonna switch up from the inch and a half and we're gonna hit the washing machine drain. And if you watch my video from yesterday, I'll put a little card link up here if you wanna check it out. But the washing machine drain is two inch PVC. And hot water tank for the drain for that, there's no drain, <laughs> okay. But I had to put that on here for the water line's sake. All right, so that's all the drain line sizes. So if you're getting ready to rough plumb your house, you got all the sizes you're gonna need per fixture. And now for water supply, for our water supply we got half inch, you can use either PEX or CPVC. So either one of those is fine. I prefer PEX because there's no gluing involved. So to put, so the water supply going up to all of these, clear down to here, all of these are gonna be the half inch PEX CPVC and your hot water tank is the exception. Uh, sorry, that should have been extended to here, but the hot water tank is the exception. This is going to be fed with three quarter inch PEX. 
or CPVC. So long story short, three quarter inch water line. Some people actually use copper, but copper to me is kind of outdated. So this is going to be your size chart. So half inch pack CPVC for all of your pressure lines, except your hot water tank's going to be three quarter supply. And then all these drain sizes for what you see here. And uh, that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a simple layout of how you would run your drain lines and pressure lines. All right, so I'm gonna use my red marker for drawing the drain line layout. So let's draw it like this. So when you have a drain, let's say this is your main drain here, okay? And this is where the four inch pipe comes in. And this is your three inch, okay? Now when you exit the house right here, you're gonna size up to a four inch pipe, four inch. Now this is going to go to your public sewer or to your septic field. So whichever way you uh, have your septic system hooked up or set up, that's what you're going to use is your four inch. But when it comes to the three inch side, this is your main drain going through your house. So you're going to be feeding off for your inch and a half and two inch, depending on your fixture. So if you're going up to your washing machine, you would go two inch draining down into your three inch and then if you have let's say right here we have a sink that's going to be your inch and a half okay so this is going to be all branching off that main uh, drain line going up to your fixtures and now we'll switch to blue for our water lines so always do a trunk and run for my water line so it's kind of the same idea here you'll have a three quarter inch main trunk, okay? So this is three quarter inch. And so that's gonna be the main trunk going towards all your fixtures. And then you actually branch off going to wherever you need off that. So let's say here's a sink. And then let's say right here is a shower so on and so forth. So I guess you kind of see the idea we got this trunk and run, trunk and run. And there's one other way of doing this water supply and I'm gonna show you that one real quick. So now I'm gonna show you what's called the manifold system when it comes to pressure lines. And I personally never run it like this, but I'm sure there's some cases where it might be better. I just found it to be not as good as the trunk and run after doing my research. But a manifold system, you buy this square looking device has your pressure line going to it, your main water line, or your hot or your cold, and it runs to what's called a manifold. So it goes here, and then it feeds each pipe independently. So you do home runs to each fixture. So we'll say right here is for the shower, and let's say this is for the sink, and so on and so forth, and then it would have some coming off this side, going to wherever he needed to go. So that's the, um, uh, an interesting way of doing it, but I've never seen where there'd be much of a benefit to doing it. So that's why I never did it. And again, these are all half inch lines coming off there. So just, uh, just another way you can do it. All right, guys, that's all. I just wanted to show you a quick little video on rough end plumbing. And again, my name's Josh. This channel is all about building your own house, saying a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell, and smash that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. All right, guys, I got some work I got to get done in the bathroom. So I'm going to get started, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.